would like to read to you something very, very important, and it moves me deeply to have this privilege. The Preamble to the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Every child shall enjoy the following rights without any exception whatsoever and shall be entitled to them without distinction or discrimination on account of race, color, sex, language, religion, or politics. The child shall enjoy social protection and be given the opportunities, facilities, and means to enable development physically, mentally, morally, and spiritually in conditions of freedom and dignity. The child shall be entitled from birth to a name and nationality. The child shall be entitled to grow and develop in health and shall have the right to adequate nutrition, housing, recreation, and medical services. The child who is physically, mentally, or socially handicapped shall be given special treatment, education, and care. The child needs love and understanding and shall have the right to grow up in an atmosphere of affection and security. The child is entitled to receive education and an opportunity to develop abilities in order to become a useful member of society. The child shall in all circumstances be among the first to receive protection and relief in times of emergency and disaster. The child shall be protected against all forms of neglect, cruelty, and exploitation, and shall not be admitted to employment before an appropriate minimum age. <coughs> the child shall be protected from practice, practices which may foster racial, religious, and other forms of discrimination, and shall be brought up in a spirit of understanding, tolerance, friendship among peoples, peace and universal brotherhood. These rights were put into words in the Declaration on the Rights of the Child 30 years ago. Today and now, on this anniversary day, they have become part of the most comprehensive treaty for the protection and support of children in history.